Hello everyone, myself Dr. Amit Maheshwari and today we are going to discuss active transport and passive transport. I will try to summarize this topic in 2-3 to three minutes. So in this video, first we will see what are the similarity between active transport and passive transport and then we will see what are the differences between active transport and passive transport. So please watch this video till the end. So let's start. So the similarity between active transport and passive transport is both are the mechanism for the movements of various metabolites and molecules in between the cell and extracellular fluid. So that is the similarity. Now what are the differences between active transport and passive transport? The first difference is related to the definition. So the definition of active transport is it is the mechanism which is required for the movement of metabolized against the concentration gradient and as it is against the concentration gradient so it will utilizes the ATP. So ATP will be needed for the active transport while in the passive transport it is the mechanism for the movement of metabolites from higher concentration to the lower concentration. It doesn't require ATP. As active transport it is against the concentration gradient so it occurs uphill fine while the passive transport it occurs downhill and the direction of active transport is it is unidirectional while the passive transport is the bidirectional another differences of active transport and passive transports are as active transport it utilizes the atp so efficiency will be rapid while the passive transport it will be relatively slower as compared to the active transport. In the active transport, there is requirement of various carrier proteins, while in the passive transport, there is no requirement of such carrier proteins, but in facilitated diffusion, there is a requirement of channel ions. Hence, there is a requirement of various channels. As in the active transport, there is a utilization of ATP so there may be effect of various metabolic inhibitors which will affect the ATP generation while in the passive transport there is no effect of such metabolic inhibitors as there is no requirement of ATP in the passive transport and the examples of active transport and passive transport are example of active transport is endocytosis exocytosis and sodium potassium pump while the example of passive transport is diffusion facilitated diffusion and osmosis so that is all about active transport and passive transport thank you for watching thank you